There are several thundering giants, as the event leaflet says, running on the Bluebell Railway's tracks this special weekend. The Bluebell Railway's Autumn Gala, the Giants of Steam. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. Regular viewers of the Linley's channel will know Kit as a mate who, on other adventures together, enjoy trekking and visits to Europe amongst other places. However, we've met up today for a visit to the Bluebell Railway. Here at Sheffield Park Station, we have the chance to watch, before the day kicks off properly, the various locos and coaching sets shunt and move into place. The timetable today looks very busy and full of opportunity to see lots of powerful steam engines. First to make its appearance is this 4MT Moogle 76017. For this weekend, it's visiting from the Mid Hans Railway. It slipped its way as light engine down platform 2 to take on water at the stand on the northern end here. With the 4MT out of the way, Whitewick Hall can pull forward with its set of carriages ready for the first train off for the day. Clouds of steam and lots of whooshing are all part of a busy steam railway at this time of year. I'm loving the day already and it's only just started. More about both of these engines later. With the line token passed to the driver and Kit and I aboard for the 9.15 up service through to East Grinstead, we begin our first journey up the line. Kit and I sit back and take a comfortable ride in our compartment in the southern region's 100-seater stock, forming the front group of this set of six carriages. Horsted Keynes is our first stop. We'll spend a little time here later, but this time we'll stay on board and head on up the line to Kingscote and then on to East Grinstead. It's still early and the stations are not yet busy. Whitewick Hall is on loan to the Bluebell Railway and is a loco I have not seen before. 
she was built by British Railways at Swindon in 1948 for the Western region. The instruction by British Railways that year to Swindon was to have all the new engines from then on to be finished in black. But they ignored that instruction and used their favourite Brunswick Green livery instead. 6989 was taken out of service and sent for scrapping in 1964. But fortunately, as were five other Hall class locos, she was saved and became the 150th loco from the Barry scrapyard to be preserved for future generations to enjoy. Today, it's great that I'm on a train with this fine loco in charge up ahead. Heading back south from Mies Grinstead, we take seats in the third class compartment in one of the fine metropolitan carriages forming the southern portion of the train. Whitewick Hall has settled in very well to her duties this morning. I really like the clear sound of the exhaust steam when the regulator is nudged open a bit. We are light at Horsted Keynes to wander around and watch some train movements from the station. Next up the line, 73156, leading the way with Camelot forming a double head on a non-stopping service north to East Grinstead. Whitewick Hall departs, leaving the station slightly quieter for a few minutes. There are some repairs to buildings going on at Horsted Keynes, so for the first time in ages, the through running is done via platforms two and three. There's a goods train busy buzzing about at Horsted Keynes, backwards and forwards trying to get in the way. 30514 is one of Bluebell's own locos, the sole surviving Maunsell Q class. Built in 1921, she is now over a hundred years old and still running well. Mostly used for mixed traffic, light freight and local passenger services, today's outing on Bluebell's metals with a small collection of goods wagons is just right. This smaller tank loco stands in front of the rather more imposing lineup of the great engines, all of which are looking rather forlorn today and awaiting some further TLC and refitting. Bluebell's own 9F is needing some attention to get back in steam. I've seen this massive loco running up and down the line, but for the next couple of years at least, I assume, it'll rest here waiting its turn for refitting.
76017, the visiting 4MT Moogle pulls into Platform 3, looking splendid in its black suit from British Rail Days. The through service up to East Grinstead stops to pick up. Built in 1953 at Crew Works, it was then based in the southern region for most of its working life with BR. But with the demise of steam in the 1960s, it was taken out of service and sold for scrap. It was one of the lucky ones and through a sequence of restoration programmes, finally returned to steam properly in 2016. For this service, it's in charge of the mixed set of carriages and our loco back down to Sheffield Park. Kit and I dive into the Bessemer Arms for lunch and a pint. I usually manage to find a table inside, but the station is busier today with the special event on, so we'd find a seat outside and watch the trains come and go. 75027 is not in service today as it needs some refitting works, but proudly presenting its very fashionable Western Region green livery, she's berthed at the dock siding here at the park. Built in 1953 or 54 at Swindon, she ran most of her former years on the Western Region lines, based at Plymouth and Reading for some time. The Bluebell Railway acquired 75027 virtually directly from British Rail. Seven three zero eight two Camelot has a fine tune to sing and is out in steam for this event today. More about Camelot a little later on.
Camelot is a modern engine in many ways. Built as late as 1955, she was withdrawn from service before she should have been and sent to the scrapyard when the age of steam was ending in the 60s. The only one remaining of the class of standard fives, this fine loco has been lovingly restored, cared for and maintained and regularly runs on Bluebell's metals. Seven six zero one seven reappears running as a light engine, having left off one set of coaches. She'll get ready to join the front of another service to run as a double-headed pair. Oddly, though, set face to face. Almost all of the locos on the Bluebell run with their fronts facing north. As 73156 draws in with the Sheffield Park to its Grinstead service, the 4MT 76017 leads the Q-Class Loco to pull their coaches south to the park. What a busy day on the Bluebell Railway today. Back approaching the park, we pause outside station limits at the inner home to release the leading engine so that it can attach to the north end of the coaches in number one road. With the queue now in charge alone, we draw into platform two. There's 
just enough time to pop over the footbridge and join the service back up to Horsted Kings. Diving down using the underpass kit and I dash across to catch the service back to Sheffield Park for the last time today. We are back in the beautiful metropolitan carriages and enjoy the lush upholstery and the luxury of the compartment. Whitewick Hall leads the way, tender first, back down the line in the late afternoon sun. Kit and I have had a really fun day out visiting the Bluebell Railway. I have to say that the Bluebell team have done a fantastic job today. All the services ran on time to a masterful and complex schedule. Staff were helpful and the whole railway was tidy and well presented. We were lucky with the weather too. Thank you Kit for your company and chat along the way. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.